All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you for taking time out of your day to check the video out. I just wanted to make a short video talking about the PS5 Pro pre-orders as well as the 30th anniversary edition PlayStation products that went up for pre-order today. And I kind of just wanted to see how it went for you guys and also let you know that if you had any intention of trying to secure the PS5 Pro 30th anniversary limited edition bundle once they were sold out well they are already up on ebay and being resold for honestly what is to me nearly ridiculous amounts of money i mean i'm scrolling through it now and i'm seeing bundles up there for three thousand five hundred dollars four thousand two hundred dollars uh, even some bundles as high as five thousand dollars and, um, you know, I'm looking through it here and there are definitely people keeping their eye on this. There are definitely people who are trying to buy these limited edition PS5 Pro 30th anniversary bundles um, from, you know, from these scalpers. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to know if there's anybody here who managed to get their hands on it. I, I was able to get a regular PS5 Pro and I also secured a 30th anniversary edition DualSense. So I'm good with that. Uh, but once I was kind of waiting in line, cause that's kind of how Sony does it with PlayStation Direct. Once I was waiting in line and I didn't get in there within the first two or three minutes, I knew that, okay, yeah, there's zero chance I'm gonna get my hands on this PS5 Pro bundle. Um, but you know, luckily I kind of already accepted that uh, as soon as it was announced that there was only going to be 12,300 of these bundles made. But um, I was a little bit surprised. It took me about, I think, 25 minutes to actually get into PlayStation Direct to be able to start shopping for these items. And I was surprised to see about like 25, 30 minutes later that the regular uh, PS5 Slim 30th Anniversary Edition was still up for pre-order. I'm curious to see if that sells out. I'm assuming all of these items are going to end up selling out. But yeah, man, it's it's interesting to kind of see this happening because the last time I remember it being this crazy when it comes to pre-orders for PlayStation or specifically on PlayStation Direct, I mean, it takes me back to 2020. I think a lot of people remember this. When, <laughs> when the pre-orders first went up for the PS5, it was... It was total insanity. I mean, what we just saw here with the PS5 Pro limited edition bundle, uh, that's what was happening with just the regular base model PS5 when it first went up for sale. Um, you know, definitely not a great time. I remember back then a lot of people were really upset. And obviously it's a different situation. You know, I think a lot of people can kind of walk away from missing out on the 30th anniversary bundle and just be like, oh, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. I think a lot of people probably are just going to settle for the regular PS5 Pro and be happy and satisfied with that. But yeah, I can honestly say this isn't as bad as when the PS5 first launched. I don't think anything will ever be that bad where people just straight up, if you didn't get a PS5, especially because, you know, after the first couple rounds of pre-orders, there was a shortage for basically like a year or two. Yeah, that's obviously much worse, you know, not being able to upgrade to the next gen console at all. But yeah, man, it's uh, like like I said, it's really cool to kind of see Sony celebrating the 30th anniversary in this way. I know that a lot of people really wanted to get the limited edition PS5 Pro bundle, but I think most people kind of understood that. Yeah, that's if you're not in there within like the first minute or two, you're you're out of luck, you know, so let me know if you ended up getting anything. Did you get the PS5 Slim maybe? Did you get a DualSense? Did you get the DualSense Edge? What about the PlayStation Portal? Or did you just, just settle for the regular PS5 Pro? Or did you not get anything? And also let me know if you're somebody who actually is trying to secure one of these 30th anniversary edition bundles through eBay uh, through a, um, a secondhand seller here. But yeah, just wanted to make this short video kind of talking about this. And I'll be I'll definitely be interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below. So let me know. i uh, leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.